Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Remothered Broken Porcelain. I hope you've been paying attention because I, I'm still lost. I'm still very confused. The previous video, we are introduced to Jennifer. We find out that she has a broken arm because of her friend's name, who I'm currently not remembering. We're being chased around by some woman named Andrea. I don't know if she runs, she doesn't run this hotel, but she's one of the people who works here. And we've been a, we've been a bad girl. I don't know what's happening if I'm being honest, but we do have the key that's supposed to help us get out of here, question mark? We got some kind of key, and now we're trying to find. Uh, how do I get to my key items? I do have. I do have the key, right? Leave the second floor. So, so uh, how? How am I supposed to do that? Yes. Ah! <laughs> There's a moth key sitting right here and I never noticed that. So how much does one moth key? Okay, one moth key is worth 10, I believe. Yeah, because I just spent five on that one and I had six and now I have 11. So one moth key is worth 10. Got it. Slightly reduces difficulty of hiding spot mini games. You know I need that. Hold on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ah! So leave the second floor. I don't, I don't know any other doors that lead to anywhere else. Cause this is like it. Oh, these are the. Oh, okay. I found it. Ow! Ah! What the hell? I just started the video. <laughs> okay. All right, we're fine. I'm fine. I don't know about you, but I'm fine. Complete chapter one. I was so close. I was close to finishing the chapter and I just stopped. Some years later. Fuck. Okay. Ah. Massacre at the peaceful residence of Cervo Scuro, where the body of Richard Felton, a well known notary, was found burnt in his own home. The man who was legally registered as Jennifer Richard Dean Felton and was found completely drenched in kerosene. The body of 38 year old Gloria Ashman was also found at the scene. She was his personal assistant and a former nun at the Cristo Morente convent. Her body was found mutilated as she was reported thrown out a courtyard facing window, apparently following a heated argument. The neighbors claim to have spotted a distinctive woman lurking around the area, having parked a white van nearby. That's our girl! That's our girl! Dr. Reed! I don't remember her name. Missing. Missing February child. February 8th, 1971. Celeste Felton, 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. You ran away from home, isn't that so? Why did you end up in this godforsaken place? Okay, I'm I'm still kind of confused because in the beginning half, I guess I should just stop trying to ask questions and just play the damn game. But in the beginning half, we are playing as a Jennifer. Now, is this Jennifer Felton? Or is it like, is it, maybe I missed something, whatever. Uh, missing child Celeste Felton, beloved adoptive daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. Missing since, there's, so she's read all this. Last seen 4 p.m. at Playground in, God, 
Date of birth, February 8th, 1958. Light blonde hair, blue eyes. At last, t- <laughs> wearing a white dress with bows, white shoes, and braided hair. Ursons. Any information? Uh, okay. Assigned by Flemington Institute to the Foster Home and Work Project at the Ashman Inn. 1973. Jennifer. Just over two years older. Unknown parents. It's you, isn't it? Celeste Felton. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So I think I was on to something then. I was definitely on to something when, because in the last video, I said that I don't know if this Jennifer is the one who was forced to be Jennifer because of Richard or if this was Richard before being brainwashed into being Richard. You know, it, I, oh, oh, it's kind of piecing together. Okay, so this could be Celeste then. This probably is Celeste. Involved in minor larceny, no permanent residence resolved, or reser, res, reserved. Rebellious, solitary character, doesn't remember or won't reveal any details regarding her parents. She seems confused about her past, does not enjoy communicating neither with other girls her age of the facility nor with tutors. Nevertheless, she demonstrates a particular aptitude for musical composition and comprehension of the piano. Entrusted to approved Stefano Ashman, single landlord, 36 years of age, requests custody. She will be incorporated into the Ashman Inn, formerly Rosso Gallo Farm, as a housekeeper. The experience could help the girl again, help the girl gain knowledge and learn the concept of responsibility, preparing her for an event reintegration, for an eventual reintegration into society. Miss, Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Ah! Did you say Reed? Are you a relative? More like an old family friend. Come in, Miss Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't fight. Mm. Uh, don't say that. What is Reed? A pun? Good evening, Mr. Ashman. You've certainly come a long way. You have gone from simple larceny and battery all the way to homicide and arson. You can't confirm that that was me. Do you remember me? I'll never forget your face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. <gasps> oh no! I know exactly why you're here. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. Whatever happened to Celeste Felton? I have here a dossier from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. Celeste Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person, aren't they? That girl was simply an orphan, a homeless nobody, and so I decided to take custody of her. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner, Felton, by pure coincidence? <laughs> I don't buy it. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated to helping homeless minors? It was never about synthesizing a disease. Because the disease never existed. Lies! And the moths? Lies are being spread everywhere. Search every room. You can find a lot of useful items around the inn. Thank you, tutorial guides. Woken up at last. Hey, hey. I barely Calm touched down. her. It's just a bad dream. No, it wasn't a dream. I found you at the bottom of the stairs. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead, Jen. Andrea went crazy. You must eat or drink something, young lady. She wanted to kill me! <laughs> That's not possible, Jennifer. Andrea was with me. Here you go. Drink up. I am sure of what I saw. Everything is all right now. Calm down. 
there was also a large man. He had a, a, a strange wooden stick shaped like a spine. Poor Slim. That man is dead, young lady. Uh, no, I, I saw him. He was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman! That thing is no longer Professor Wyman. Andrea! That man is dead, and has been for a long time. He... hung himself. You see, you were just dreaming. I... 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 I, I don't understand. Jen, you have to calm down now. You believe me, Lynn, don't you? You believe me, right? <laughs> she should get some rest now. Jen, if you need anything... I'm here for you. Oh boy, okay. A few months before. So it seems like... Say goodbye Hearty first from my eyes you leave me, pretty sure you miss me. If you fly, smoking's bad. Smoking's bad. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Put him back. Put the goddamn. Excuse me. Uh, are you new? I like that outfit. I suppose so. I love that song. Girl's got style. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. So why are you here? Listen. I think that's the real question. I'm not up for making conversation. Oh, well. I'm sorry, I guess. I was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Nice. I was expecting more like controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. Only in my spare what? time. Very well, you're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. The pleasure was all mine. You something in the sky. Okay. <laughs> We're kind of just jumping all over the place. Up. I beg you, wake up! Shit, they drugged you! He literally yes, forced me to, to drink leave. the water. You have to get away from this place! This story again? Everything you said before, I believe you. Porcelain and everything else you saw. You heard Andrea. He. He hung himself years ago. It's him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wyman. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? I can't even see it. Professor A. E. Wyman's suicide was staged? The man reportedly hung himself on November 14th after being accused of playing part of the man-made fire at the Cristo Morente convent. Professor Albert E. Wyman also received humorous, numerous <laughs> threats after Richard Felton's adoptive daughter went missing. Richard Felton was commonly known for the involvement in the phenoxyl research and experiments. However, these charges were la later dropped due to the lack of evidence. Fuck! Why can't I read? <laughs> Wyman's family members did not respect the standard procedures and went ahead with a rushed cremation and burial, preventing the authorities from carrying out a detailed autopsy on the body. Despite being identified by the coroner, family relatives, and by... His former business partner, Stefano Ashman, the authorities are unsure as to why the family sped up the cremation and burial process, fueling suspicions that it might have been to cover up tracks of a possible staged death. It was all an act. There was no body. And if there had been, it wouldn't have been his. 
I don't... I don't understand. There is no time to explain. They know who you are. They know. Do I know who I am? What are you talking about? Why didn't you ever say anything to me? Follow Lynn. Run run. away from the Ashman Inn. I tried to, to get you to leave, but you never understood. For fuck's sake. Why? Who do they think I am? Celeste Felton. Me? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh God, Lynn, I can't remember. I don't know who I am. They found you and they brought you here to use you. Now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run. Fucking hell, Lynn, just tell me. We probably the, shouldn't be screaming the like disease. this. disease. What does that have to do with me? Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. It's, it's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. And they know it. Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Is this the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? All time? It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. Lynn! Lynn! <laughs> when a mother moth perceives the presence of a possible threat to her throne, she does everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the others. <sighs> Therefore, eliminating the threat. <laughs> <laughs> when a mother moth <laughs> Okay A telephone It's coming from Ashman's office A telephone Go into the manager's office Answer the phone Another way. Uh, crawl through here. No. Okay, hold on. So, like, what's stopping me, right? What's stopping me from taking one of these chairs and just going Doosh! right through the fucking window? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is a strong girl. I I've seen what she could do. Even if she couldn't lift up one of these chairs. There's a table right here. She just takes the table by the legs and goes, Doosh! But then again, there wouldn't be a game if there was. What's what's stopping me from taking this chair and smashing it through this vending machine and taking all the snacks? Oh, a moth key. That's better than snacks, honestly. Lynn! 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 You bitch, open the door! Oh, wait, hold on. I might have had the right idea. I just probably wasn't doing it right. No? Damn. I thought I had to be crouched to get the option. That's not even... That's a picture frame. That's a, that's a fucking picture frame. <laughs> God damn it. Can I go back upstairs and try something? Oh, crap. What the hell? You know, I've never known a phone to ring this long. Whoever is on the phone waiting for me to answer is very persistent. I'll give them that because I I'm lost. I'm confused as balls. I've tried every door. Oh, crap. They're all locked. <laughs> I'm not seeing an alternative way into the office. And I genuinely think that this game's problem is a lack of direction. I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to go. And this game does an awful job of telling me what to do. Giving me some kind of direction. Oh, 
Like, what was the point of that? Why does that even need to open? Go to room 211 and... Okay. 211. Room 211. Find the keys in the manager's office. Go to the fine land. Go to room 211 and find the keys to the manager's office. Got it. Okay. We're going to get chased by something now that we have made progress. I'm calling it now. We're going to start going up these stairs. And then something's going to start chasing us. Two eleven. That's this room right here, right? That's two twelve. Two eleven. Two thirteen. Where the hell is room two eleven? Careful, 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 careful. Two eleven. Ashman, he's sleeping. Okay, all right. Grab that moth key. Uh, uh, you got any more moth keys around here? Oh, oh. Uh. Don't turn your back. Don't turn your back. Keep watch. Okay. Everything's all good. Everything's fine. Go. Get the fuck out of here. Go. Now I can finally answer this phone and figure out who the hell is so persistent enough to stay on the phone while I look for some keys. Oh, now they, now they hang up. Got it. Shit. I missed it by a second. By a second? What's that? More like a whole, like, left a voicemail. five minutes. I missed that shit by a landslide. Ashman. Hi, Stefano. It's me, Ariana. I know it was you. Grande? I know it was you all those other times. I beg you. Stop tormenting us. Stop tormenting the fathers. I beg you, please, stop. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us, a godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. I wish she could understand. Leave us be. Ariana? Richard? Okay. No, it can't be. It can't be them. It must be a coincidence, Jen. Ooh, Mosky. 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 Yoink! Nice. Celeste Felton. This is. Jesus. She is the girl collected item. Hey! Who's in here knocking pictures over? Somebody better come clean this up. I'm not gonna take fault for somebody else's actions. Launch of Rosso Gallo, a partnership with Phenoxyl Associates. Associates, 1956. Oh. The Ashmans. I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. Ariana Gallo, Mom, it's you. This is not a coincidence. They know who I really am. And there's Richard right next to her. Richard Felton, Dad, I can't believe that you were behind all of this too. Mom. I didn't Dad. get to see who that last person was. Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun. 
I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Why won't you let me go then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your slutty mother! That disgusting bitch! Phenoxyl made her lose her mind! She had to get in the way! I loved Ariana! Why did she keep us apart? Mr. Ashman... She had to be shown who was the real man! Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her?! <laughs> huh? Wait... Please don't just throw me in. Please give me some time to mentally prepare. The fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Ah! Ah! Go! Oh! Okay, now what? Now what? Use the fire extinguisher against Ashman. You're Bitch! So slow. Too slow. What do I do? What do I do? How do I use the fire? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ow! You can't hit a moving target. Fuck, I guess you can. Stop, you little coward! Was that supposed to happen? Please tell me that was supposed to happen. That was supposed to happen, right? The Acherontia, the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings with rapid impulses and synapses. A transmission of images without the use of senses. That would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee... Or, should I say, Mother Acherontia was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The Phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers who was making regular use of Phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a queen bee. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So it's like, it's like, um, fetal alcohol syndrome. Because she was... Yeah, because Felton was using the phenoxyl during pregnancy. All the girls of your generation. Okay. I will whip your head off and throw it in the freezer. Don't do that. That's a little unnecessary, don't you think? Hang her. This is all yours. Do what you want. Lady, did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? Can you can you <laughs> chill out? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> uh, it was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No, she stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! Or what? You're a fucking or what? monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated, far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't speak! 
spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Get her, Celeste! By lighting it Get all him! Up. Shut up! <laughs> Ow! What? The most idiotic story I've ever heard. Did you hear it? Father, tell you that in reality he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act? That at just 10 years of age, his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do. <laughs> There's a lot happening right now. So a lot of the stuff we already knew from Tormented Fathers. Quickly. Oh. Ah! You can hear me. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are... Uh, Mother Acherontia, the moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness, it's a gift. A gift. Use it. You can do it. Using moth power, so this is the moth eye. Oh! Oh! Jennifer's moth eye ability allows you to take direct control of moths. Use the scroll wheel, I think, to activate the moth eye. And use W to navigate. I think I have to sneeze. <laughs> Thank you. Moss, I call to thee. What the hell? Um... I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Is this it? Oh wait, W. W? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! Oh! Okay, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Again, this game gives you zero direction. Kind of just throws you into everything you do. So it's like, what the fuck am I even here for? All right, I got it. I saw the yellow thing. Okay. Oh God. I did it, I did it. I can't believe I did it. Uh -oh. I have to leave at once. Uh -oh. So quickly it's too. coming from the cold room. Uh -oh. I think the lights went out. They're coming! Sir, the girl, I can't find her. Ah! Kiss my ass, dickhead! Yeah, freeze in there, bitch! Open this fucking door, you bitch! They're all crazy! Crazy! And you're fucked! You shall respect me! Ah! Ah! There you are! Oh! I didn't think that he could get in here! Moths! Stop! Use the moths! Not eager. Why does he have to go running around with a gun? You and Lindsay can't run away! You can't! Make your mind up! Do you want to be the cause? Or the I don't know what I'm doing! You come in. Aha! That's enough running. I got a moth key. Bro, what the fuck am I doing? Fucking bitch. Damn it. Hey! Ah! Fucking Belton. Oh! Ow! Hands in the air. I got another moth key. They're just handing these things out now. You and Lindsay can't run away. You can't. 
Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh... So now I can get away, right? I'm not gonna waste any more time with you. All oh, you pussies. You're all the same. So he's gonna leave? He's leaving? That was close. I have to be careful from now on. Okay. We thought we could stop them. To stop the parasites from spreading. And instead... Uh, oh, you too. Oh, my head. Oh, you too. It's all their fault. Ah, we caused distractions. Hi. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh, you very much do see me. There must be some sort of exit. You very much do see me. Make your mind up. Okay. You want to be the cause. The balcony. This wasn't just a bad dream. What balcony? Can I find some more? Shit! Fuck! Ow! Ow! Whoa! Naughty girl! Who the hell is that? And your father. You shall respect me. Wait! There's so much happening! Ah! Uh. No! No! Oh, I'm stuck! I'm stuck. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. You're literally abusing me. <laughs> God damn it. Ah. Shit. There has to be a way to shut him up. Oh. I have to make sure I don't get caught. Just want to get away from this place. Pink. No! Why is your throat so no. shitty? You can't wander around. Our family too. Monkey. Okay, that doesn't help me. Lady. Stop! Lady. Stop! Lady. I can't get away. Who is that? Who's the other one? Bitch. Another moth key. I'm really glad that I keep finding all these moth keys, but like. Come out now. I insist. No! Ah! Gotcha! I can't even use my moths! Here I come! Okay, I need to find somewhere to like actually hide. Oh, there's so much going on. Can I use my moths from in here? No. Do you? Why did I come out of the? Ow! 
What the fuck? God damn it. Oh, there's a closet. Closet, 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 closet. Hide, 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 please. Ah, no! No! Fuck! This fucking game! She's not even at the door! She wasn't even at the door! <laughs> okay. Filthy dog! What do you want now? Be quiet! Shut your mouth! No! It wasn't my intention. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do it. She's running away! She's running away! They mustn't find me! My objective was to leave, and I'm going back in? Stay back. Calm down. I'm back to myself. You can trust me. Back to yourself? What the fuck is going on here? So you know that you weren't- What are... the hell is you... going on with the others? Listen to me. There's no time now. I want to get away from this place. Okay. I can help you escape, but you have to help me with something first. Jennifer, you have to trust me. I know what you are capable of. Like what you did in the cold room. That voice. Was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside, and I know that you can hear me. Listen up. There's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Concentrate. Look inside yourself. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. Follow I'll Elisa. Go ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Distract Shit, the red she's nun. coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? I got you. Use it. I got you. Watch this. Watch this. I'm pretty good at using my moth powers when I actually have the ability to do it. There's no way the moths are doing all this. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm still using the moths. Uh. Hold on, hold on, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I'm looking for a small key? No! She heard me! Oh god, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? There's a hiding spot here. I know because I used it. You had plenty of time to do literally anything else. You could have hid anywhere in this room, honestly. She walks so slow. Hi. Goodbye. Oh, aren't you such a cutie? 
All right, you're good. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hold on just a little longer. I wonder if this is like Eleven's powers where the longer she uses it... Distract the Red Nun. How? How? How do I distract her? How am I supposed to distract her? Fuck. The Remothered games are probably some of the hardest games I have ever played in my life. And I've played a difficult game about climbing. I've played some pretty damn difficult rage games. I puzzle games. This game is probably the least guided game I have ever played. So I'm going to assume that when she does leave the door, the I have to use the jukebox again. Cause that'll get her from going over there to going here i'm hoping my fingers are crossed that that is the solution but at this point i don't fucking know okay that should have done it Oh, now do I have to? Am I doing something? This is what I'm talking about. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. There's no direction. I'm pressing the button to not do the thing. Is she going back to the door? Is there any particular reason you're not doing anything? There's gotta be something that I'm missing. Either that or I just have to assume that my game is broken. Uh, my head! I have to get to Elisa. Now! Okay. Okay. That made no sense, but okay. Wait, I can I can vault over this, right? Vault! Fucking vault! Do you want me to interact with the nun? What do you what do you want me to do? Why can't I vault all of a sudden? I'm pressing the space bar! <laughs> I'm pressing the goddamn space bar! Fuck! I've been hurt! What the hell? Move! I'm done! I'm sick of you! I'm out of here! I'm done with this bullshit. I'm actually ah! Oh my gosh, she's fast. Oh, okay. No, thank you. What the fuck? Okay, I gotta be ready. I gotta be ready. I gotta be ready. I'm ready. Just do the thing already. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. You fell right into my trap card. You fell right into my trap card. Please go. Please go. Please go. Please go. Please go. Please go. Please don't turn around. Please go, please go, please go, please go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck! Tell me what the hell is going on? Who the fuck was that? You've heard of that fire at the convent, haven't you? Well, not all of them died. Gloria Ashman. Jennifer, you have to help us. I beg you. Gloria's still alive? We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. I... 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 I, I don't understand. What can I possibly do? That... that thing lives down there. It has no effect on you. 
You can end the loop. <gasps> it's time to go. It's time to go. That's that's my that's my cue to go. I beg you, please. It's in my head. I can't get out of the loop. Has no effect done you. You can end the loop. I have never met a dumber main character. I mean, uh, God, okay, completed chapter two. Sweet, awesome. That is a perfect opportunity for me to call it a video. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna get to a save and then I'll stop. She kind of hitting them notes, though. Where is that voice coming from? Uh, I guess we'll never know because we're ending the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm I'm really gonna need a <laughs> I'm really gonna need some time away from this game to really process because a lot is happening. If you thought that the first game had too much going on, this game takes all of that confusion and all of that that rah, and cranks it up to like ah level. You know, it's like, it's not even, it's not even a number at this point. The dial has gone off the chart. You just like, you like, and then it snaps off. And it's like, ah. <laughs> oh, if you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you want to see my last video of Remothered Broken Porcelain, I'll also have that link somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. I'm, I'm gone. I'm done. It's too confusing. All right. I'm going crazy.